Yeah, we took a digital pregnancy test that night and it said no. And so Brennan thought we were in the clear, but as women know, if there's even a faintest of line, you're pregnant. <laughs> Surprise, we might be pregnant. And I just took a test earlier and then I looked at it and I think I saw a line for real this time. And that would make our next baby only 14 months, 14 months. between Hadley. And I am shaking and feel sick right now because I'm not ready. But if you want to make God laugh, we literally plans. just said this quote last night. Remember when I was telling you about someone? Someone posted a yeah, picture they, that they're having a boy and they, they wanted, wanted a, a third gender. girl and right. they ended up having another boy. And she, I quoted her <sighs> quote to Brennan that said, if you want to. That's right. Oh, um, we want a big family, right? If you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And yesterday even we pointed out a family and said we want that a huge family but i did not think it would be this early but i have some first response test and we're about to look at them do you I, have them right here i feel like i'm going to throw up yes Moment well, of truth i don't know what we're gonna do with two kids 14 months apart if i am I don't want to look at these. Let's see what they say. Oh. Wait, this one says no. This could be a relief. Okay, What's this, is this a no too? I don't know, I have to turn my camera off. To... Well, tell We're gonna be this. parents again. Two under two. No, 14 months apart. Irish twins. Basically Irish twins. This Hadley is, is already going to be a big sister. This and is I crazy. Don't believe this yet. It's awesome. I'm We're shaking. super excited. He's excited. I I'm, am stoked. I can't process this. I can't wait for the gender reveal. That's going to be awesome. I just don't feel pregnant. We took how many tests did we take this Are morning? you going to be a big sister? She's my baby. I can't be pregnant. Hadley's all about it. She's excited. She's stoked. She's ex she's as excited as I am. We're gonna have a baby girl or baby boy due in September. What the heck? It's, it's or October. I don't year. really. I'm not possible on the due date. It's fall. We'll say wild. fall 2021, basically. September. I, maybe it might be October. <laughs> fall. We'll say fall 2021. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> 14 months apart. Look at this, look at this family growing. Look how fast we're There's growing. There's gonna be another one in his arms by Christmas. <laughs> That's right. What the heck? Oh boy. We're so excited. <laughs> Woo! Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Sarah and my husband's name is Brennan. We have two little girls. They are one and two and yes, they are 13 months apart. Even though I said in that video that they were 14 or that they were going to be 14 months apart, I had preeclampsia, so I was induced a few weeks early, which made them 13 months apart. So I almost have Irish twins. It has been a wild journey to say the least, um, but I love it. It's um, fun seeing my daughters grow up so close together. They're like little besties. It's really cute. And if you found this video or if you're watching it, maybe you found out you were pregnant just a few months postpartum and I know how scared you might feel. <laughs> there are so many mixed emotions when you find out you're pregnant at just a few months postpartum. Um, for me, I remember... I mean, I was on birth control around two months postpartum or at my six week checkup, I was on birth control. I started birth control and um, I remember it gave me terrible headaches. I like didn't feel well at all on it. My headaches got so severe that I was like, I've got it. I was considering trying to find 
a different route, whether that would have been like a non-hormonal IUD or I don't know. My birth control pills were always left on the counter and I always joke with my husband, I'm like, you threw those away, didn't you? <laughs> but no, he didn't. I think that, I think what happened is they got like swept up with the mail on the counter that just got thrown away or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, the birth control pills that I was taking got went missing and I didn't have a refill for another few months. So the doctors weren't gonna give me more birth control right at the moment. Um, and I really didn't have the, I guess, drive to ask, even ask for more because I felt so crappy on the birth control I was on. So I was like, you know what? We are just going to take other methods and other precautions and I'm going to stop, um, the birth control. And so, yeah, that's what happened. I stopped birth control and we thought we were being really careful, but let me tell you something. You are obviously very fertile after you have a baby but i was still pumping at the time and my cycles were so irregular with pumping that i just i wasn't really having a monthly period like a normal monthly period still so i wasn't able to like track my ovulation all that stuff to really prevent pregnancy so you know things just weren't as secure and um yes i know how babies are made like i'm not stupid we know we know everything but i think fact of the matter was we knew that we wanted a bunch of kids and we still do but in that moment we we had baby fever from our own baby okay but i think so i think like the idea of having another maybe like a few months down the road when she was like nine months was exciting to us um so maybe we weren't as careful, whatever, just because we just love babies. And even though we were 100% ready to have another baby yet, it happened. And I just remember feeling really weird one month and I just had this like gut instinct that I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I could be pregnant? I mean, I've only been off birth control for like three weeks, but it can happen. And I'm like, no, that's crazy. That's just my mind, my postpartum mind. And I took a test and the first one was negative. And then I took another one the next night and it was a first response. And I swear, like, I swear there was obviously a the faintest, faintest line. Like it was hidden in the background. It was one of those where like some, most people would be like, no, that's negative. But I was like, that's a positive. <laughs> And I even showed my husband and he was like, there is nothing there. And I'm like, I'm telling you, I swear I see a line. We'll look at it again tomorrow. Next morning, I wish I kept all these videos. I was trying to do YouTube back when all this happened. So I was filming everything and then I deleted things because I was like, oh, YouTube's too hard. But now that I'm doing it, I really wish I had those videos. But the next morning, so we went to bed that night and Brennan and I were like, there's no, like, no, obviously there was a way, but we were like, we can't have another baby. No, like we cannot have another baby right now. Our baby is sleeping in her crib. She's like literally was just in my belly a few months ago. And um, I just remember feeling like mom guilt. I remember feeling so much sadness. I remember feeling like obviously overwhelmed and terrified because I had hypertension in my first pregnancy. Um, and overall, I was just like, I, I was not excited to be honest with you. There was no excitement. I actually cried. I mean, it was, I'm just being real with you. It was really hard for me to imagine bringing another baby into the world when I just was done being pregnant. And I was really pregnant for like two years straight. So it was just a really weird, weird feeling and time at first. So the next morning I went to Walmart and I was so nervous. I was shaking and I remember being like, God, if I'm pregnant, please, please give me a girl because 
if I'm going to go into another, uh, like having another baby, I just want it to be something I'm used to, like another, another girl. Like, so please just give me a girl. That would be great. They could be best friends, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so I went and got the pregnancy test at Walmart, came home and yeah, it was obviously positive. And I had videos of all that. Um, I'll throw one in here real quick that you can just see. I have gotten criticized for my face of shock because that video went viral on TikTok. And I'm like, it's not that I was shocked. It was just like, how am I going to do this? It was more so that. And Brennan immediately got kind of like, uh, he started looking up like what life would be like with kids who are like 13 months apart, 13, 14 months apart. And he got really excited and everything. And I tried, I was trying to get excited, but I just was like, mm -mm. like I, there's no way I'm pregnant. Like I was just in such denial. And it wasn't until we started taking pictures of Hadley with like a sign that said like, oh, I'm going to be a big sister that I started to get excited and I started to envision things. And um, then we told family and obviously those reactions were hilarious because no one was expecting that I could be pregnant <laughs> with a five, six month old. Um, so that got me excited as I told family. We waited a little while to tell like friends and other people. Looking back, it was... My excitement started in, especially when I found out that Georgia was a girl. Um, that was really exciting. And subscribe because I'm going to be posting in the next few days um, my, like, finding out the gender and everything. I found out with Hadley sitting on my lap. I opened up the sneak peek email and stuff, and it's really cute. So subscribe to my channel so you can see that. I really wish I had everything documented from my last pregnancy but um it was just there was just too much going on but for our next baby i will be documenting everything like from beginning to end so um be sure to subscribe or keep following us so that you guys can see all of that in the future we're not planning for anytime soon but like i mean i don't know <laughs> we are talking about maybe another baby so yeah only God knows when. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of my story. It was just really hard and at first, and then she has been like the sweetest, sweetest blessing in our family. And we just love Georgia Grace so, so much. And I cannot imagine life without her. So if you're watching this and you're like, I can't believe I'm pregnant and I still have a, a little baby, it's going to be okay. I promise you, you're going to get through it. Um, and they will literally be a piece of your family that you could never even imagine not having. It's like my, my Georgia Grace, we call her Gigi. I'm like, I don't know. She has a, just this special place in my heart because I went through so much with her, that pregnancy and postpartum and everything. And she is just, um, I don't know. There's just a special bond that I have with her. Obviously, I have that bond with my first one as well, but you have a different bond with each child, and I just love her immensely. I promise you, if you are pregnant a few months postpartum, you will have the same experience, and yeah, there were highs and lows for sure after I had her. It was definitely hard, um, I dealt with like postpartum depression and anxiety and everything, but like I got the help I needed for my kids. And that's just something you have to remember. Like if you can't do something for yourself, do it for your children because they need you. And um, everything worked out great. And now she will be two in September and Hadley will be three in July. So it's just going fast. And I can now say looking back, I would not have it any other way. I would literally like I'm just I love how this all played out I'm so thankful that I got pregnant so quick I wouldn't do it again because it's definitely it was hard on my body but if you'd like to hear my story about how I told my family I was pregnant at five months postpartum or um I don't know anything else like that just drop in the comments let me know so yeah that is pretty much everything so yeah stay tuned for 
maybe when baby number three will be announced. Who knows? Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.